Deep within the jungle of Mexico, hidden beneath the vast canopy, is the lost world of an ancient civilization, the Maya. A sophisticated society that built centuries-old cities and mysterious temples. In this three-part series, we embark on a journey to discover what lies below these ancient ruins and expansive rainforest. Join us on this adventure to one of the longest underwater cave systems of the planet. A place virtually unchanged for thousands of years, unlike anything you have ever seen. The Yucatan Peninsula, home to a network of freshwater sinkholes and caverns considered by the Mayans as secret grounds and windows to the underworld. Cave diver and local expert with dark side divers lead the way to follow the steps of this ancient civilization. Cenotes vary in sizes and shapes, but they all have something in common. Stunning underground formations and crystal clear waters. We submerge into the darkness and begin our exploration on a location known as Garden of Eden. the day, when the conditions are perfect, the beams of sunlight shine through the openings of the rainforest above us, creating a heavenly spectacle of dancing lights unlike anything we have ever seen before. section called Dream Gate, where we encounter flooded passageways and chambers luxuriantly decorated with delicate stalactites and stalagmites. A sobering reminder that watering caverns not only erodes, it also builds. were once dry, and the stalactites were seen today were formed hundreds of thousands of years ago by dissolved stone, and sculpted by nothing more than water dripping from the ceilings. The slow deposition of limestone grew one drop at a time, an inch every 100 years, an immaculate example of the patience of nature. Cavern and cave diving require specialized training and equipment. We only equipped ourselves with the very best tools out there, and one of our fundamental gadgets are dive lights. Today we're using our new Orca Torch D710, provided by Other Pro Outdoors, the sponsor of this video. The dive light, powerful yet compact, with a maximum 3000 lumen output, is ideal for these low light conditions. The long-lasting battery life and robust build enable us to rely on this torch throughout the entire expedition. For more information and discount coupon, check them out on the link below in the description. We continue our exploration and follow Tavo to deeper passages that have remained virtually unchanged, frozen in time for thousands of years. 
Everything we see here was formed during the last ice age. These caverns are filled with crystal clear fresh water, but in some sections, like in Chicken Ha, sea water seeps through the bottom, forming what is called a halocline. Sea fresh and sea water don't mix very well. They have different densities and temperatures. When we are in the presence of a halocline, it's like diving above layers of glass like entering a different dimension. I think this is pretty cool. We now continue to explore shallower sections of the caverns. It is a silent world down here, where very little stairs but it is full of stories written on the walls, if you know where to look. Like these roots, from the abundant rainforest above, hanging from the ceiling like natural chandeliers. Or these fossils, immortalized millions of years ago, or these ancient bones of an animal that roamed these lands and took his last breath on this ledge a hundred thousand years before Christ was born. of exploring these deep caverns where very few humans have ever been is one of the greatest experiences I've had as a diver. Most of the sections of this cave system were not discovered or mapped until just recently, several decades after the man landed on the moon. So this is it for part one of this series, I hope you enjoy as much as we did, and I hope next time you come to Cancun, Playa del Carmen or Tulum, you realize that there is more than just beautiful beaches and hotels to explore. There is this vast jungle of thousands of years of history that is ready to be discovered by each and every one of us. I hope you enjoy it, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would appreciate if you do so, and I will see you on part two of this series. Until then, ciao.